For Colombia's leftist government, it's friendly fire. Tens of thousands of unionized public school teachers are on strike. They say the latest version of an education reform bill currently underway in Congress has been so distorted by amendments that it would undermine public education. Lawmakers made changes to the bill when it reached the Senate that are unacceptable. Among them, they eliminate public preschool grades, which are a responsibility of the state. The law also allows public funds to finance private schools and universities, while public schools are falling apart and in dire need of money. Public school unions are among President Gustavo Petro's main allies, and they remain so. But in order to push through the Senate its education reform, the government's allies made significant concessions that angered the president's base. On Monday, teachers from across the country stormed the capital Bogotá, and some even set up camp in front of Congress. We will stay here with our tents and our massive turnout day and night, demanding that the senators understand that their function is to legislate for the people and not private interests. The message is clear. We will stay here until they decide to strengthen public education instead of destroying it. Colombia's Congress has until this Thursday to pass the law before the end of this legislative period. And the teachers are saying that they will remain in this plaza until they manage to force lawmaker to either withdraw the law or get rid of the controversial amendments. Senators who supported the original bill say this is becoming a missed opportunity for an education sector urgently in need of an update. I don't see in the Senate the possibility of reaching an agreement, so now we're seeing the government forces presenting a proposal, the opposition another one, and the independents yet another, just two days before the end of the legislative period, so I don't think the reforms have a chance. Yet teachers called for another major rally on Wednesday to keep pressure on the Senate. The education bill is just one of a number of important reforms, including health and labor bills, that President Petro pledged to push forward during his term. But most continue to face an uphill battle in a deeply divided country. Alessandro Rampietti, Al Jazeera, Bogotá. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.